Hello my friend, welcome to Hain Yoga. In this session, we will be practicing yoga to welcome the morning. It's an all-level vinyasa sequence with well-balanced mixture of stretching and strengthening, moving between dynamic and stillness. The sequence will be challenging enough for you to stay focused, yet simple enough to easily follow. You will feel your body awake and ready for the day. A quality I would like to invite for our practice today is curiosity. How much truth are there in what you're telling yourself as you start your day? Let me give you an example. One of the first thing I used to say in the morning was, I'm tired. One day I asked myself, am I actually tired? And the answer was surprisingly no. The answer was, no, I'm not tired. What I actually feel is loneliness and I don't feel motivated. So by doing this reality check, I became aware of what I'm actually dealing with. After that little conversation with myself that morning, I did everything I could do to meet that loneliness. The next day I woke up and saw myself asking, how am I doing this morning? Instead of running my usual narrative. So this is the invitation. Stay curious and do reality check your narrative. All right, let's get on it. Let's start in standing position. Have your feet hip wide distance and bring your arms up over your head. Hold your left wrist with your right hand. Take a deep breath in and exhale, you bend to the right side. With your right hand, gently pull your left thumb away from the hips. Have weight fairly equal in your both feet. And with next inhalation coming up to the center, extend your arms all the way and change the hand, hold the right wrist and lean to your left side. And slowly coming back up, reach up all the way and then bring your arms in this cactus position, elbows aligned with your shoulder. As you inhale, Gently lift up the chest and look up and pull the elbows backwards, bringing your shoulder blades close to each other. And as you exhale, bring your hands together in the pr prayer position, aligning the elbows, pressing the hands against to each other, bringing your shoulder blades away from each other. Let's try this one more time. Inhale, elbows back, shoulder blades close to each other. Lift up the chest and look up, exhale, Pressing the hands against to each other. Look down, shoulder blades away from each other. Okay, and release. Coming to the front of the mat, feet hip wide distance. Take a deep breath in, bring your arms up all the way over the head. And as you exhale, stretch your arms out to the side and we're gonna fold forward. As you inhale, elongate your spine. You can have your fingertips on the floor or against your leg, but just make sure that your back becomes elongated and straightened and activated. As you exhale, release your head completely. You're welcome to bend your knees. As long as you feel the back of the leg, all good, whether your knees are bent or straight. Once again, inhale, elongate your spine and exhale, release. As you inhale, stretch your arms out to the side and let's come up all the way. Tuck the tailbone in, lift up the sternum and look up gently and exhale, hands in the prayer position. Let's repeat this one more time. Inhale, arms out to the side, sp spread your fingertips and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, elongate your spine Gaze gently forward, weight slightly more towards your toes and exhale, release. One more time, inhale, elongate. And exhale, release. Inhale, arms stretching out to the side, spread your fingertips, stretch your arms all the way up, look up and exhale, hands in the prayer position. Now let's build up. 
Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, elongate. And exhale, release. Inhale, step your right foot back. Come up into high lunge with your arms all the way up. So meaning that your back heel will be off the floor. Let's take a deep breath in here. And exhale here. Pull the belly in gently, have your left knee on top of the ankle. Hold your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, side bend to your right side. Stay really centered and grounded with your leg. And inhale, come up. Change the hand, exhale to your left side. Hugging the legs into the center line, grounding your feet. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms in cactus. Inhale, slowly change your gaze up. Shoulder blades close to each other, open. Exhale, gaze down. Press the hands against to each other, shoulder blades away from each other. One more time, inhale, lift up the chest. And exhale, look down, shoulder blades away from each other. Reach down, the hands on the floor, come to plank pose. Take one deep breath in here. And take one deep out breath here. And as you do that, knees on the floor, come down all the way. Inhale, slide forward, coming into mini cobra. And exhale, push up to downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward between your hands. The other side, high lunge, arms up all the way. And one breath here. Now knowing that what's coming on this side, finding your stance in this posture, hugging the legs in, grounding the feet, pressing the feet against the floor. And let's hold the right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, side bend to your left side. Inhale, coming up. Change the hand, exhale to the other side, to your right side. Inhale, come up, reach up. Exhale, hands in cactus. Inhale, elbows back, lift up the chest, not the belly. Lift up the chest. And exhale, press the hands against the floor, not floor, against each other. Shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, shoulder blades close to each other. Pull the belly in, lift up the sternum. Exhale, hands in the prayer position. Press against each other. Shoulder blades away from each other. Hands on the floor. Plank. Deep breaths in here. And exhale, knees on the floor. Bend your elbows, come down all the way. Inhale, mini cobra or bigger cobra, however your back feels like. And exhale, come to downward facing dog. <sighs> With next inhalation, bring your left foot forward, turn your right toe 90 degree away from your left foot, and we're gonna come into warrior pose. So you just change to the other side. <sighs> Okay, just one more breath here, extending your collarbone, sharpening your fingertips, tucking the tailbone in slightly, aligning your left heel to the middle of your right foot. And with next inhalation, let's bring the left forearm against your left thigh, close to your knee. Right arm go over the head, palm facing down elongating the right side, the whole right side of your body, all the way from your right fingertips to your right foot. And as you inhale, reverse warrior, your right hand will lean to your back leg, left hand go over the head. As you do that, bend your front knee a little deeper. Inhale, come up. 
reach your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Align your right arm with your left arm. One breath here, tuck the tailbone in gently. And as you inhale, come up, reverse warrior one more time. Bend the front knee a little deeper. And once again, reach the inside of your left foot with your left hand. This time, slowly straighten your left knee. It may not get straightened completely, that's okay. Straighten as much as you can. Just make sure you don't push the knee back, but rather lift up the knee towards your hips. Open your chest, widen your shoulders. So we are in triangle pose. And bend your front knee. Let's come back to warrior two and reverse warrior one last time. Now, reach forward to your left foot. Your right hand reach on the floor. Pivot your right foot so that your legs are in high lunge. And continue twisting to your left side. Left arm goes up, chest facing to your left side. Your legs are in high lunge. Back heel off the floor. And exhale, reach down to the floor. Come to plank pose. And exhale, coming down all the way, either from table or from plank. Inhale. Mini Cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna bring the right foot forward and coming into warrior two on the other side. Right foot forward, left to a 90 degree away from your right foot. Swing your arms up and let's meet in warrior two. Rolling your right inner thigh gently outward. Ground your feet, always starting from the ground. Right forearm against your right thigh. Opening the left side of the body. Side angle pose. And as you inhale, reverse warrior. Bend the front knee a little deeper. And inhale, come up. Right hand to the inside of your right foot. Left arm up to the ceiling. Tuck the tailbone in gently. Press your leg against the right arm and your right arm against the right leg. Inhale, come up. Reverse warrior. And exhale one more time. Right hand to the inside of your right foot. Left arm up. Slowly straighten your right knee as much as you can. Again, lift up that kneecap up towards your hips rather than pushing um, backward. Mm. Widening your collarbone and widening your shoulder. And let's bend the front knee. Come back up to warrior two and continue the last time to reverse warrior. And exhale. Come to the front, left hand on the floor. Pivot your right foot so that your legs are in high lunge position. Continue twisting to your right side. Open your chest to your right side. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. We are in twisted lunge. One more breath here. And slowly reach down to the floor. Plank. And exhale all the way to the ground. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward with your feet, feet hip wide distance. As you inhale, elongate your spine. And exhale, release all the way. One more time, inhale, elongate. And exhale. Inhale, arms out to the side, press your feet against the floor, tuck the tailbone in, reach up, lift up the sternum. And exhale, hands in the prayer position. Okay, inhale, 
Let's bring the legs together and come into chair position. So your knees are bent, but you should be able to see your toes. Pull the belly in gently so that your back is not too much in arch. Open your shoulder as much as you can without straining your upper back and your neck. <sighs> okay, now from here, let's bring the hands in the prior position and we go in to twist right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Contact first, then press as you press, twist your belly button, then the chest to your left side, widen your collarbone, press your fingers against each other, elbow against the leg and leg pushing back against the elbow. Eventually looking up to finish that twist all along the spine. And as you inhale, we're going to come back to the center, open up the shoulder, engage the back, and we continue to the other side. Left elbow to the outside of your left knee, right knee, sorry. And contact first, and as you push, start to twist from the belly button, sternum, chest, collarbone, shoulder, gaze. One breath through your abdomen. Squeeze the legs together. Let the right elbow, no, left elbow, push back the leg and leg pushing back. And as you inhale, coming back up, open the shoulder. The leg is burning. Stay with me. And exhale. Fold forward. Separate your legs. Interlock your fingers behind your hips. Roll the shoulders away from your ears and bring your arms over the head. Couple of breaths here. Catching the breath. And as we catch the breath, coming back to the breath. And as we come back to the breath, coming back to the present. Let's release the arm. As you release the arm, look forward and come into sitting position. As you sit, lift up your leg and finding this balance on your hips, coming into the boat pose. You can hold your ankle, but if you are up for a bit of core challenge, release your hands. And we're going to stay here for couple of breaths. Hmm. One more breath, hug the legs into the chest, lift up the sternum, gaze forward, slightly up to give that uplifting. <sighs> okay, release the leg and let's come down all the way to the floor in lying down position. Keep your left leg stretched away from you, straight, and lift up your right leg. And let's hold the back of the thigh, the right thigh, or the calf, just avoid the knee. And flex your right foot, both feet actually. Ground both shoulder blades and your sacrum. Press your left heel against the floor. Reach your right heel up to the ceiling and simultaneously ground your sacrum against the floor. And now from here, bring the right leg as close as you can and really work both with the leg and your arms. And reach as high as you can with your hands holding to your right leg. Lift up your chest first, not the head, chest first, away from the floor. Again, press your left heel against the ground, widen your collarbone so that you're not straining your neck. <sighs> so it's mostly your core and your legs that is working together and your arm is kind of doing the minimum. One more breath. And slowly release. And let's change the leg. Flex both feet. Hold your left leg, 
just a couple of breaths here, working on our left hamstring, gradually bringing the left leg closer to your chest, elongating, creating space in the back of your left leg. And then reach with your hands as high as, high as you can to your left leg. And as you lift up, not the head first, engage your core and lift up your chest first and align the head with your spine. Ground your right heel, flex your left foot. And a couple more breaths. It's almost like left leg wants to go away from you and your arms are holding on to it. And slowly release the leg. Let's finish with spinal twist. Stretch your arms out to the side, both arms. Lift up your legs to 90 degree and slowly lower your legs down to your left side. As you do that, keep, try to keep both shoulders on the floor. The head is turning to your right side. And few breaths here. And slowly coming back up. If you have sensitive lower back, bring your knees to your chest and then bring up to the center. And we continue to the other side. And let's slowly come back to the center. Soles of the feet together, knees falling to the outside. Find your hands resting on your belly or your thigh or even over the head, wherever that feels appropriate for you in this moment. Just finalizing, completing this posture in your own way. And a few breaths here to finish with. Thank you everyone for joining me on this video. A question I want to leave you to contemplate to finish the session is how do you want to step into this day? What version of yourself with what narrative do you want to and choose to step into this day? Comment below. If you like this video, give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for weekly yoga practice. I wish you a beautiful day and see you next week. Keep shine on!